August 10th, the holy suffering of the saint. 1 Peter 4.19 says, Let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to Him in doing good. Choosing to suffer means that there must be something wrong with you. But choosing God's will, even if it means you will suffer, is something very different. No normal, healthy saint ever chooses suffering. He simply chooses God's will, just as Jesus did, whether it means suffering or not. And no saint should ever dare to interfere with the lesson of suffering being taught in another saint's life. The saint who satisfies the heart of Jesus will make other saints strong and mature for God. But the people used to strengthen us are never those who sympathize with us. In fact, we are hindered by those who give us their sympathy, because sympathy only serves to weaken us. No one better understands a saint than a saint who is as close and as intimate with Jesus as possible. If we accept the sympathy of another saint, our spontaneous feeling is, God is dealing too harshly with me and making my life too difficult. That is why Jesus said that self-pity was of the devil in Matthew 16, 21-23. We must be merciful to God's reputation. It's easy for us to tarnish God's character because He never argues back. He never tries to defend or vindicate Himself. Beware of thinking that Jesus needed sympathy during His life on earth. He refused the sympathy of people because in His great wisdom, He knew that no one on earth understood His true purpose. Like in Matthew 16, 23. He accepted only the sympathy of His Father and the angels, like in Luke 15.10. Look at God's incredible waste of His saints, according to the world's judgment. God seems to plant His saints in the most useless places. And then we say, God intends for us to be here because I'm so useful to Him? Yet Jesus never measured his life by how or where he was of the greatest use. God places his saints where they will bring the most glory to him. And we are totally incapable of judging where that may be.